We can count it down or what? All right. In three, two. Do you say one? No. Why? I never say one. Why not? Because you think the one and you feel it and then you go. You're supposed to direct that. Okay. I'm going to say three, two, and then you're going to feel the one. Okay, let's go. <laughs> feel the one. <laughs> In three, two. Hi, I'm Reba. And I'm Eric. Welcome back to another Mystery Box Show Confession Corner. At our last live stream, we asked folks to text in a time when they had a sexual mishap. Here's what they had to say. My boyfriend once put icy hot on my nipples so they would tingle, he said. Understatement. They started burning so bad I could barely stand it. It's like the only thing I could think of and tried showering, which only made it worse. Are you, do you think I'm preparing to icy no, what hot you? No, what is icy hot for? What is it for? It's for warming up. It's like you put it in your snow gloves when you're snow skiing. No, it's medication. Is it? Yeah. What is it for? I don't know. Not nipples. And not snowstorms? Mm-mm. Oh. Okay. Well, I learned something new. Five years ago, I was 35, boyfriend was 25, and a bit on the slender side with a huge wiener. We got a little rough one night. Over the next couple of days, my right leg from my groin down was killing me. This felt oddly like an aneurysm, which I had had before. Day three after sex, and I'm in the hospital with an aneurysm in my femoral artery. Holy shit. Hospital staff wanted to know what happened. I swear someone said something because I'm sure every staff member, ha ha ha, in parentheses, this is them, not me. Ha ha ha, staff <laughs> member, both them words mean wiener. Um, I would say that though. Uh, in, in that hospital, had come to my room and needed to know what happened. Fun fact, I'm now in a wheelchair due to that injury. Lasting injury because of... Energy. The sex accident? Sex aneurysm? Yeah. Not actually my injury, but my at the time partner's. We were having a nice evening at her place with me enjoying an extended blowjob. She suddenly stopped, looked up, and said something cracked. Whatever it was, her jaw was not right. After several minutes of not getting better, I drove her to the hospital. The diagnosis was a dislocated jaw. Not sure what the treatment was, but she was sent home and told she'd be okay. She told me her story for the doctor was that it occurred while she was eating a sub. She was convinced he didn't believe her. A submarine sized penis. The very first time I ever had sex, I was riding him. I repositioned my hand and accidentally caught his nipple ring along the way. There was a lot of blood. He grimaced and couldn't speak and I was horrified. Turns out he was something of a masochist. Oh, so it turned out to be a good thing. Oh. This was this was their first time. I like, was it both their first time? I don't know. I guess her first time with him because it was her first time. We're like detectives. This is like CSI mystery box. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's funny. No, I'm not crying. My eyes are just leaking. My eyes water sporadically and it has looked like I was moved to tears by the dick. But no. <laughs> Have you ever been moved to tears by anything? <laughs> <laughs> I don't cry. That's not true. That is true. That is true. <laughs> <laughs> you make yourself sound like an ice queen. An ice cream? <laughs> 25 year old cis female here. Recently, I have been exploring playing with other women. My sister was at work for the evening and I thought this was the perfect opportunity to invite my new crush over. We get carried away and she shows me the strap-on she brought, which was glorious and blue. We don't even make it upstairs. We're in the living room and she's fucking me with the strap-on while I'm on all fours. Before we know it, my sister has whipped open the front door and is home from work. We all pause for a moment. I say sorry, and my sister says, it's cool, and heads up to her room. My sister is the real MVP. That is a very cool and nonchalant sibling. Yeah, I, I wouldn't be able to, I'd lose my shit if my sister walked in on me. Oh, but what if you walked in on your sister? I don't even <laughs> want to consider it. I don't even want it. I don't, I don't right. want it. That's fine, to each their own. Yeah, I mean, this is awesome. Good job, sister. 
My girlfriend and I decided that it would be sexy to paint each other's naked bodies with tempera paint for artsy sex play. Mm -hmm. We... <laughs> we painted sweet designs on each other's bodies and rubbed them around. It was all fun. Then we decided to wash off. The paint ran all down and clumped up in our pubic hairs. We ended up having to shave to get it off of us, and all over the bathroom walls were the colored streaks. Evidence of our great idea. Oh, you know that's what pubes are for. For catching paint? For, ca <laughs> for catching anything that might want to enter uninvited. Is that true? Is that what pubes are for? That's what eyelashes are for. I didn't... That's what eyebrows are for. Oh. I guess I never thought That's about the purpose. That's what hair is for. I just thought it was there. For, yeah. Like, for decoration? No, it's like a bodyguard. For trimming? It's a literal bodyguard. Topiary? So the paint doesn't get in. <laughs> was having sex with a girlfriend when she was pregnant, and during the deed, had a contraction. She had no clue what it was, so it scared her, and I saw something was wrong, so it scared me, she happened to have a scheduled appointment that week and we found out what had actually happened, but until then, I was a nervous wreck. Yeah, right? Like, what did I do? Did I break the baby? I... Would it even be... So, I've never had sex while pregnant or while with anybody who was pregnant. Or but... have you ever had a contraction? <laughs> no, but you have, right? I've had... I've both of the... I've all of those things. Okay, so educate me. Is it like just... Like, what would he have felt? Would it, would it be like a... What the... Oh, no, he wouldn't have felt anything. She felt it. Oh, he didn't feel it on him. No. She just thought... Or were you listening? Yeah, I just don't know how things work. Listen. Okay. She was scared, and I saw something was wrong, so it scared me. Got it. I saw her reaction, and I got scared. I was just putting myself in the position of the penis the whole time. So, I'm part of a quad. This consists of myself, my wife, her best friend, and her best friend's husband. We were having a game night while... <laughs> I'm, keep... I'm keeping track. Okay, good, good, good. We were having game night, like always, and drinking and having fun. Long story short, I look over and my wife is blowing Bestie's husby. <laughs> <laughs> Do I get fourth... to read this one? No, this is the fourth time I've tried to get through this. Hubby. Bestie's husby. I'll, I'll carry it on. Bestie's husby. You did yeah. it again. <laughs> I got it. I got it. God damn it. Long story short, I look over and my wife is blowing Bestie's hubby, and so Bestie decides to blow me. I like things rough, pulling her hair, gagging her, just all out face fucking her. I feel her teeth scraping, and I love it. I like to be bitten. Well, all of a sudden, I look down and her face is covered in blood. Not sure if it's hers or mine. I say, stop, there's blood. She stops blowing me and I go into the bathroom and she has skinned my dick with her teeth. I actually had a gouge in my shaft. Took about a week to fully heal and are back to our normal fun activities. Is it okay to laugh? I was laughing. Yeah, they're back to their normal fun activities. Okay, so it's okay to laugh. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Game night is on. Pain is funny. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> So, one of us says this and the other says all of that. Which do you want right I now? I don't trust you. So I'm sorry, I love you, but I don't trust you. Okay, I'll say thanks for watching. That's all the confessions we have for now. Thanks for watching. That's all the confessions we have for now, but stay tuned for part two of the sexual mishap story confessions. Nope. I got it. Thanks for watching. That's all the confessions we have for now, but stay tuned for part two of the sexual... <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> See it? <laughs> kind of. <laughs> okay. There, he's back. Did you see it? Yeah, it's a blue shade. Yeah, I know. Thanks for watching. That's all the confessions we have for now, but stay tuned for part two of our sexual mishap confessions. If you like what we do, please consider supporting us on Patreon, where you get access to all kinds of patron rewards. And be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date on all of our live streams and confession corner videos. See you next time. Bye. Bye.